Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a review on a product I just purchased. Now, a little backstory first. A couple of weeks ago, I went out and purchased a USB fan specifically for my PlayStation 4 Pro. Now, unfortunately, the entertainment stand I have my PlayStation in has a back to it, and my PlayStation's backed right up against that wall. So all the hot air blowing out of the back of the PlayStation is getting trapped in the back and heating up that wall and it's just not really circulating. Now the entertainment stand is open but it does have that back which is very unfortunate for me because I had to go out and buy one of these. Now the first thing I noticed about this fan was it only has an on and off switch. There is no speed control or automatic shut off or anything like that. So unfortunately this fan is running 24-7 100% all the time. Now. I know I can shut my USBs off when my PlayStation is in sleep mode, but I like to leave those on so I can charge my controllers and other various devices. So like I said, this is running 24-7 no matter what. So I hopped on eBay and I found this little guy. Now um, this is a 5 volt USB stepless speed controller or regulator. It comes in this package here which is just a static bag with a couple um, English writing pieces on there that really doesn't describe the item but uh, this is the package it comes in and this is the device itself now as you can see it is a very small piece of equipment simply has a USB female and a USB male now unfortunately this is not USB 3.0 it's only 2.0 um, as you can see there are some there is some circuitry on there and you have this nice little clicky on and off switch which does have a fair amount of travel. Now on the back here you have a little writing a USB buck boost module model AT05. Now as for this module its output is 3 to 8 volts its input is 3 to 18 volts it's rated at 5 watts and unfortunately it is not recommend, recommend it for 12 volt fans now I'm sure you can use 12 volt fans I just don't know how reliable this device will be if you use a, a 12 volt fan luckily this fan I have here is actually a 5 volt which is uh, really low amps and watts which meets, uh, meets the requirements of this device now this is a brushless fan uh, the motor in here is brushless. Just keep that in mind. This does work for brushed and brushless motors. Now, it's very simple to use this device. You just take any type of USB power device, uh, such as a, a power brick or even one of these little um, backup batteries. And uh, this does work in ports that are USB, like um, turbocharged 3.0. This will handle the power through those. Uh, you know, the charger just regulates whatever the power output is or power demand. So um, this charging brick I have here or this power bank that I have here is actually uh, two point, a 5 volt 2.1 amp and I'm simply going to plug it in make sure this is on. Plugging your USB device make sure your board here is off and your device is on. Now once you click on, you will notice there is a small amount of dead spot here before the fan actually starts to kick in. So you have right up into that corner, and then you will start to get power, as you can see there. Right past that corner, you start to get some power to your motor. And this is probably the slowest speed that it does permit, which I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it is pretty slow. Now, something interesting I found out about this board is that it, it is a boost board, so this will actually supply more power to the fan than the fan would actually get if it was just plugged directly into the USB device that you're using. So as, um, for example, I'm going to turn this all the way up and let you guys have a listen to, uh, listen to the RPMs. So you can hear how high those RPMs are. Now if I remove this boost board, and just plug the USB directly into the device. You can hear how much lower those RPMs actually are. Now I don't have a way to test the voltage output so um, you're just gonna have to take my word for it at the moment until someone comes out with a better review. But this is a new product that just hit eBay. I haven't seen any of these on uh, 
on YouTube or anywhere else really uh, one of these little boost boards that actually control USB fans but not only does it control USB fans but you can also use it for LEDs now this is just a basic LED um, like a book reading LED that you plug into a USB port and you know you can use it for your laptop or but overnight uh, when you're at you know you have a spouse sleeping next to you and you want to read a book or something something simple like this um, so that's what this is but it's it has no circuitry inside it's just the LEDs connected directly to the USB port um, right here you just like I said before you simply plug it in now I'm gonna shut the lights off still have some background light oh before I show you this I want to actually show you the board itself uh, once you turn it on you will notice a little blue light right here let me cover these ones but you see that little blue light right there it actually indicates how much power you are supplying to the USB which is a nice little touch they added and in the description for this device right here they didn't show this knob or this LED that there was no mention of these two things that they did include so that was nice of them um, as for the LEDs you simply plug them in and you will begin to get some power like I said there is that large dead spot right here I don't know if it's like this on all, but it is like that on mine. But you can see how low these LEDs are right at that corner, right at the corner right here. And they do get a lot brighter than they would by themselves, just like uh, the fan does. So if I was to take this out and plug it in, these would be a little bit dimmer than they are right now. That's, uh, that's all the way up. So that is basically it I'm sure you can use this for multiple other devices you can use it in PC builds um, Raspberry Pi's whatever you guys really want what you need one of these for it's it's a boost board but it's also a USB controller for voltage so keep that in mind that it does boost the voltage a little bit not only is it a controller but it boosts the voltage so the only regret I have that the company didn't do was wrap this in some kind of shrink tubing which would have been nice, like a, a clear shrink tubing around it to keep it protected, but I'll end up doing that. Otherwise, I'll probably find a small hobby box to throw this in there and uh, retrofit it together and make it look, you know, decently nice. So that's pretty much it for this review. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave those down below. I am going to put a product link in the description if you guys are interested in picking some of these up. If you guys uh, have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one.